Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Stan Clemens. I'm back with another video. I'm just going to go to my videos so I can get my favorite video up with a new lit monstrosity of a video. my turn to win and the mistakes that I've done and things that I don't want you guys to go through especially if you're in the lower grade like if you're in like my grade 6, grade 5, grade 4, grade 3, grade 6, grade 1 I don't know but like for children who are like younger than me or people who are really looking forward to grade 7 so let's get into the first thing so the first thing is the syllabus and the syllabus like the content that they're going to be teaching in term two let me say something term two is no joke term two is no joke okay um especially like in math because this is when you start learning like algebra and equations variables and all those type of things and algebra if you don't concentrate in class you will fail i'm sorry but you will fail and that's how most of the people like fail even though algebra wasn't in like our tape but like it's something that you should really concentrate on because a lot of people feel mad because of they didn't do the activity they didn't do homework homework plays a big part in all of these things if you don't do your homework how will you pass if you don't do your homework how will you pass because of those um activities they um train your brain to really know that in the test this thing is going to be there and because of a lot of people choose not to study you know yourselves they choose not to study you fail certain subjects there's a difference between failing with trying and failing with just in jail because of i didn't study okay like myself um i stu i studied for i don't know how i did it but i studied for technology but then my technology marks did not go well because that just shows that uh, my me it tells me that i am not a technology person but i studied i also studied for NAs and NAs was so easy so i got like the highest in the whole grade like yeah, so let's try to do that um <clears throat> natural sciences is something that i can pursue in life um so technically my study techniques are like oh and this is one of the things that i want you guys to have so i have this file right i have this file it's a nice file you know it's written study file with my ugly handwriting don't judge but it's just a study file okay Whoa. So in the study file, of course, I have my goals, right? Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that, but like, I have my goals. So these are the different subjects that I have, and then this is the mark. Oh, this is the mark that I wanted, or the percentage that I wanted, and then this is the percentage I got. I haven't filled in my tip two though, but because I already received my tip two before, but. My mom has my tattoo report because I'm, I'm applying to high school. You know, you know, grade seven aesthetics. You know, I'm sure. So I haven't filled in this one. She's probably gonna send it via PDF or something like that. I don't know. And then when I study, I have three codes. I don't know if y'all can see them prop. Oh, y'all can't see them properly, but it's fine. And the sunlight is shining. So orange is for like. So this is I use this when I study. So like last I looked I looked at my report when I studied. So if I see who really national science, or, I mean technology young trapa, that's where I put orange because orange means oh this is a critical subject. If you don't study for the subject, gone. Then the second one is neon green, which is where it's like 
I mean, you can mm, just on the verge. So like, there might be something that you need to study, but you need to study for now. And then the green one is, of course, subject that I got level 6, level 7, 80, 90% on those. So, of course, as you open here, you can know, study things. If, and this is for people who like to start, who like to study on paper. If you study in a book, it's okay. Get a study file or a study book. Like, get between the two. And then if you have a study book, don't be ripping your pages out. Don't rip your pages out. If you rip your pages out, my sister, you're gonna lose those pages. So if you have a, if you like studying in your book, in a book where you know it's like, um, yeah, I know what this book is, then you bring it. Otherwise, nantify for my exam pad lovers, nantify. Oh, don't rip up, but I like ripping them out after studying because I need to flip the page. Okay. For my exam pad lovers, nancy solution, nancy solution, yeah. Otherwise, Gooby, 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 hi, Gooby. So, every subject has this thingy file. I don't know, y'all cannot see it, but it's a plastic sleeve, right? So, wait, so, so I don't have enough files for every single subject to have its own, like, section. So, SS has its own, because his student geography is two different subjects, but, you know, this is. So, SS is the same. So all my geography and history notes are here. So like maths and EMS is in the same file, English and Afrikaans is in the same file, uh, natural sciences and technology is in the same file, and O and creative arts is in the same file. So um yeah, this is where you put all your study notes, mind maps, all that stuff. And I kept extra exam paper just in case like I need to write notes. So I write notes during the like when we're learning before we reading week. That's when I write study notes, mind maps, and all this stuff. And what I realize is that this yeah this term went so fast. I am scared. I am shivering with term because of term three. Term three is not gonna be that hard. The only thing that's gonna be hard is that they're gonna start teaching geometry. Ain't nobody gonna love some shape and some angles and I'm already still black and that's also another pro of having a sibling that's one year older than you she was in grade 7 last 12 last year so of course I can ask her oh 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so yeah so I moved places because I wanted to show you something real real cool so this is my perfect uniform. I know it has nothing to do with how to review and all of that, but I just wanted to show you all the updated version, okay? So first of all is the badge that we wear. Um, if you don't, if you forgot your sash at home, you have to at least have your badge. If you don't, you have to pick it up. Perfect has a responsibility. So anyway, um, we have the badge, this beautiful badge. Uh, if you wear it, if it's CDs and stuff like that. And then we have the sash that we wear with our school uniform. Keep in mind, we only wear these things every assembly, every day. The sashes and the badges every day. But the blazer, it's every Monday and assembly. So if if assembly is not on Monday and it's on Thursday, we must still wear the full assembly uniform. And then we have our blazer. Don't mind the t-shirt that's inside. That's not, that's not important. Not important. So we have the blazer. Uh, it didn't have these white things, so that's why I my Okay, nothing. Then the bag. I'm not gonna wear it. Maybe I'll show you like a picture or something of me wearing that full uniform. Actually, go check it out on my TikTok. Yeah, on my TikTok, I wear it. So yeah, uh, this is. That's what's up, that's what's up, that's what's up. So, I mean, that's the perfect uniform for you guys. Um, I was gonna show you the day I got this is for the moment, but like, I was not allowed to, so. But anyway, um, let's get into the next 
Yo, next video. Next clip, sorry. So, as we were there, sorry for the video. Anyway, I'm just showing you guys again. Anyway, so the next thing I wanted to tell you guys is time management. Time management. Okay? If you're grade 7, if you're grade 6, you're going to and you're on time management. Oh, first, you see. Your 7 goes like this. Your 7, there's a lot of work. There's a lot and lot of work. But such little time. Every single day, teaching new, teaching new things. If yesterday they taught, uh, if, oh, if yesterday they taught um, flow diagram, tomorrow they're teaching algebra. The next day they're teaching equations. The next day they're teaching uh, uh, geometry. That's how the seven is. They need to keep up. They need to keep up. Okay. Homework wise, same thing. Do your homework. Do your homework. You understand that some days. There are some days where like your brain is just telling you, oh, 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 I can't compete with this. But what I was saying is try and do your homework. Also, this sleep schedule of yours, they will take at 8, take out of that. Near my time, people who sleep at 8 fail. And I'm sorry that I'm saying this, but it's the truth. People who sleep at 8 fail. Koshwa, sisi koshwa. No matter you can start your homework at one o'clock, you will and you sleep at ten, you will fail, darling. You must sleep at ten o'clock. Ten o'clock is the latest. Sleep at ten o'clock. Because if you sleep at eight, you don't have time to restudy the whole thing. But like, this is what they expect you to do. After doing your homework, you revise on what you just did. You're gonna revise until eight o'clock. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I forget it, John. I don't go. Did he show up for your mother's room? Are you and all of that stuff? You need to focus. You need to manage your time. You need to tell your parents to say, ah, mama, at school. Especially if they, if they, if the teachers tell you themselves, you need to be like, hey, mama, at school they say I mustn't sleep at eight because if you sleep at eight, I can't do the answer. Even if you sleep at nine, okay, nine is better, but eight, mm -mm. that two hours is a lot. That two hours is a lot. And you're going to sleep at 10 with your body, even if you try and sleep at 8, the body's gonna tell you to have class. This way. There's a strike. Clearly, at 10 and waking up at half past 5 in the morning. Even half past 4. Some people wake up at half past 4. But what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is time management is key to your success in grade 7. It's key to you getting academics. And the people don't realize how important this thing is because of it's like I told me, you know it's fine, get like get like it's a project and I can almost six years like one night of it's not gonna be nice. And if I look in the morning you say oh, 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 I forgot to do Miss Mang Mang's project. You do it the glue is not even done properly. Yo 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 your project look like your a grievan did it. A grievan that took six days to do it. Yet your project looks like that. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do. So, when they give you a project, let's say for instance, grade 7, term 2, um, actually term 3, but they give us, they give us term 2, there's a poetry research. Apparently, all the schools in South Africa do it. All the primary schools in South Africa do it. So, yeah. On poetry or on um, fairy tales or like whatever when they give you a project I don't know started now my darling started now so when people when man says that you can now start your project especially the research I want to research if you have the papers if you pull the documents and man says you guys can start your research in some three I started now I really started you see even me right now my teacher gave me a research that I need to do over the um, next term actually I already started this literature uh, research because if you don't start now you're gonna have a short time you're gonna have a short time they only give you what six weeks so add that to the holidays week so we can get to Aiko and and don't I show you, hey ma'am, I couldn't get the research of this, 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 this. When you know for a fact that you had term two and she gave you guys this paper in term two. 
So as soon as you get a project, ah, now this is a part of time management. So if you start it now, there's a lot of things you can do later. If it's a poster, and you start researching now, you can already put the pieces to your poster already. Instead of saying, ah, you can do that to yourself. My darling, don't do that to yourself. Don't, don't. Don't do what I don't do. Don't do it. Because if you do that, it's a failure. My darling, my Social life is mara. Now you're not focusing on your books at all. 
Let me know. Let me say. Speaking of social life, you see, social life, this is how friends, enemies, frenemies, don't need to. You're gonna have to. Okay. Yo, in the first place, you need to talk about boys. But I'll throw that down. And I'm not saying this from experience. I'm saying this from seeing my friends. Okay? I'm saying this from seeing my friends. Because my friends, yay, 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 I'm going to say more taller. Yay! Let me tell you something. You can have a friend. Next thing you know, they're your enemy. A boy can come and shell you. Hey, I've had a crush for you for three years. Why do you only come now? That's a question you should ask. Why do you only come now? Hmm? When you're three, three years, three, three years, you're telling me three years of crush. Yet you're coming now in grade seven. So when the phone meets you, fade. That's what you ask. Hmm? That's what you ask. Three years of oh, having a crush on you and you only come in grade seven. When it's about time to, 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 to apply to high school. Near. My darling, no. Reject. Is a, that's a red flag. <clears throat> that's a red flag. Have I only to cannot have a crush on you for three years? Three years. Yes. This is grade four. Hey, I have a crush on Mang Mang. Hey, I have a crush on Mang Mang. And then with that Mang Mang, all of a sudden it's, it's grade seven. No home shelter now. No. More joy life. Let me tell you. And that's what I'm saying. I'm not doing it from experience. All these boys think we're stupid. And we're not. Why, why don't you come there? Why don't you come there? Now I must leave my studies for you. Now I must, I must leave my studies safe because when I want to call me and confess, okay, seven. Grow up. That's only two words I have for you. Grow up. Cool. Grow up. Be responsible. Be responsible. If a guy comes to you and says, Yay, in me, in me, I've been having a crush for you for three years, tell them, Hurry, quit everything, why didn't you come to me? Since 2021, it's not 2024. Since 2021, and I was in grade 4, 2022, 25, 2023, grade 6, 2024, it's only now that you want to come to me. La 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 la, no, just no. Tell them absolutely not. I feel in the name of Zagadula because of as soon as soon as a person said I had a crush on you for ten ten years, why didn't you tell me then? You were stalking me. You know my every move and step. So why didn't you tell me then? Why didn't you come to me like, hey, this is so, hey, hey, watch out, Tima, hey, what, ta, 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 ta. Why didn't you tell me that? You reject. You reject. You 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 fam. But if you want, if you say yes to that guy, okay, I don't know because I don't believe in witchcraft and all that stuff. But somehow, something they are going to me. Don't even ask how I know. Just take them. Because I watch my friends hate these people. I got my fat I have had a crush for you for three years. Do you want to date? They say yes. Jiggy jiggy. Friend, oh. And you want to I'm a level one. Oh, friend, oh. I'm nice. But you know very well. Look at my hairstyle, though. You know very well. For me. Friend, oh. The reason why you got this money is because of your hair. We decided to focus on the guy that has apparently had a crush on me for so many years and only been the courage now. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm trying to fix it. 
Let's just don't do that to yourself. Don't. If you say yes, I'm not sure what you're doing. You are measuring your own life, my darling. You are measuring your own life and your own future. Because if I know, personally, a boy came to me and was like, Hey, this is I had a crush on you ever since grade four. So long as I'm in the same, long as I'm in the same. Why don't you come to the five? Why don't you come to the six? Why are you only coming when now I'm speaking about it? Hey, I wonder what high school I want to go to. Hmm? Why are you only coming now? Why didn't you come about when I was running about getting into grade six? That's questions that you need to ask. That's questions that you need to ask. Why do you decide to only come now? I mean, I want to when my mom is asking me which high school. Why, why did you have Kwasasa back then? Why don't you have Kwasasa now? Why don't you have Kwasasa now? Why? 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 So you tell them no or you, you ask them these questions. But at the end of the day, if you say yes, And say she never came to ask for apology and I clearly came to ask for an apology. No. People who wanna make you their enemies. It's fine. Let them be. It's not your it's not your war after all. It's not your fight after all. Good. Yay. No 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 no. Ever are you? Come and tell me with your okay shop. He came in now. I don't know what to do. He came in now. I don't know what to do. Okay? 
don't let people who don't know to put their minds No, judge. Why are you picking fighting racism? Why aren't you focusing on the books? Why aren't you why aren't we fighting about our job? Why aren't we fighting about how the Olympia game? Why aren't we fighting about those things? Why are we fighting? Why are we fighting about friendship? No, no. If you don't wanna be my friend, period. And it's not bad, period. Think about it. Think about it. You don't need to please anybody. And I can repeat that again. You don't need to please what that boy that has been asking you out. Say no. Cause who does he think he is coming to him class seven when you're supposed to be focusing on your studies? No. Amber, a red flag. Not even not even orange, red. Red pure, pure red. Don't follow those tricks. I'm not gonna try and trick you. And then when you trick, you're gonna blame it on them and they they and they're gonna they're gonna be like, ah oh, me no, me no, what the rest is what the rest is. So don't listen to these people when they tell you, hey, guy, guy, my party, you just sit there and listen. If you feel like you need to defend yourself, defend yourself a little, but don't defend yourself too much. Don't if the people if you see a person wants to fight with you, why not sit down? Sit down, cross your legs, do whatever. Sit. If they're spreading rumors about you. Don't do anything. The minute you do something that comes around and says what you did, what you saw is what you reap. That's what I like. What you sow is what you reap. What you plant is what you harvest. What you crochet is what you will wait or what you will get. What you sow, what you sow, let me do that again. What you sow, what you sow. the notification bell so you guys don't miss anything that i posted <laughs> yeah i really hope this um video was nice because i'm sure it's gonna take me so long to edit let's not even start there but um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i really hope it was helpful if not you can check me out on instagram on match underscore lake underscore or you can also um or match underscore lake underscore 28 i think i'm not sure or if not you can find me with my two first names it is easy to listen um i'll put them on the screen somewhere and then also you can also go check out my tip if you want to see me in my uniform the assembly uniform you can check out my tiktok on match underscore lake underscore and i really hope you enjoy this video especially for people in the younger grade or create some people who are trying to pick themselves up and trying to use my advice i really hope this video was helpful so thank you guys for watching this video this is from your big sister this is so the only one in the house signing out Mwah.